show you how to make an onion and potato roshti. I'm sure you're most probably getting fed up with having mashed potatoes or roast potatoes or boiled potatoes. So I'm going to give you a recipe today which shows you a different way of how you can use up your potatoes. All you need for this is a small red onion, a couple of large potatoes, some salt and pepper, some oil and a little bit of butter. So let's make a red onion and potato roshti. Now the first thing that you need to do is you need to get a small red onion. Now this is quite a large red onion so I'm actually only going to use half of it. So very carefully cut it in half. Well I'll cut this one in half and then we need to peel the skin off Make sure that you get all of the papery skin off because it doesn't taste very nice. And then all we need to do is we need to very finely chop it. Now if, you're, um, if you've got a small red onion, cut it in half like this and then cut it in quarters, uh, sorry, cut it in, in half again and then cut it very, very thinly across so that you have very, very thin strips. Make sure you cut through the root because the root will actually hold it together. So don't cut that off until the very last minute. And then all we need to do is we need to have a nice sharp knife, be very careful, and just cut your onion nice and thinly all the way through. And once you have cut your onion, you just need to place it in the centre of a lovely clean tea towel. Now what we need to do is we need to wash and dry the potatoes. You can take the skins off if you want, but I personally prefer to leave the skins on. If you have got any uh, little shoots growing or any little bad patches in your potatoes, then remove those straight away. You really want a, a couple of, or the equivalent to two large jacket potatoes. And once you've washed your potatoes, make sure that you give them a good dry. What we need to do then is we need to grate um, all of our potatoes. You want to do it on the large section of a box grater. You don't want to do it on the slices and you don't want to do it on the small ones. You want to do it um, the same place that you actually grate cheese. So hold your potato firmly and grate all of your potatoes, skin and all. And once you've grated all your potatoes, Put them on top of the onions in the tea towel. Now, potatoes have an awful lot of water in them, so to get a nice crispy roshti, what we need to do is we need to squeeze as much of that liquid out as possible. So gather up all the corners of the tea towel, twist it round at the top, and try and squeeze out as much of that liquid as you can. It's surprising how much actually comes out. Now once you've squeezed the juice out then just empty the potatoes and onions into a bowl just like that making sure that you get out as much as you possibly can. And then what you need to do is you need to add some salt and pepper to it. If you would like to add some herbs, say marjoram or thyme at this point, then you can. And once you've added the salt and pepper, then just give it a mix through so it all combines beautifully. Now in the frying pan here I've got a little knob of butter and I've got about a tablespoon of oil. Whatever oil you've got knocking around, whether it be sunflower, vegetable or olive oil. Uh, and just switch that on so that the butter melts and that the olive oil combines with it. 
Now when it starts to, the butter starts to sizzle, just turn it down. I've only got this on the small ring. Okay, and as you can see, it's all melted, all the butter's melted and it's all combined with the oil. Now in here there's quite a lot, so because this is quite a small pan, I'm going to divide this into two, two and I'm going to do half first and then I'm going to do the other half um, afterwards. So, put half of it in. If you've got a big frying pan, you'll be able to fit the entire thing in. And all you need to do now is to move it round and to pat it down very, very firmly. If you don't pat it down, it won't stick together. Remember, there's still some starch in the potatoes, and it's the potato, it's the starch from the potatoes which will actually um, make it hold together. So make sure that you pat it down nice and firmly. You need to have this on a medium heat, and it needs to cook for about five to seven minutes until it's nice and golden brown. So I'm just going to leave this to cook away for about five to seven minutes and then I'll show you when it's ready and how to turn it over. Right, so the Roshdi has been cooking for about six minutes actually on this side. Just make sure that you loosen it round the edges just a little bit so that you know that it's loose before you try and turn it over. Now the best way to turn it over is to put a plate on the top and flip it and it should come out and then all you do is carefully slide it back in and then we will just cook it on the other side for another, oops, sorry, for about another five minutes. Don't have the temperature up too high it's always best to have it slightly lower than too high, okay, because otherwise it will burn on the outside and the potatoes on the inside won't have cooked. You don't want to make your roshti cake too fat either because the heat uh, won't get through to the middle and won't cook the, uh, the centre of it. So just nice and fairly thin, about half an inch thick at the most. So I'm just going to leave that just to cook for a little bit longer. Right, so this has been cooking for about another five or so minutes and all we need to do now is we need to just put it on a little bit of kitchen towel just so that if there is any excess oil in there it will take it away. Um, it doesn't need to be on there for very very long and then you can just serve it. So I will just do the other half and then I'll show you them both when they're done. So there we go red onion and potato roshti. I do hope you give those a go because they are really very nice indeed. You can obviously make smaller roshtis but they will take less time to cook or you can make bigger roshtis but then they will take slightly longer to cook as well. Well I hope you give those a go because they really are very very tasty. <laughs>